Hi there. We're handheld for now. I wasn't going to go live. I was going to rest. But I kind of have to finish this Goda before Monster Camp this weekend. So I thought I'll just go live and I'll just finish this goat. It won't even take very long. Right? Hello, Stuart Young. Hello, John C. It's just going to be me tonight. Hello, Realms. Hello, Lost Zodiac. Hello, Ezekiel Bradshaw, Line Cook Thor, Larry Hughes, Scott Colehart, Kim BDI, Brad Kennedy, Christopher Lazo, Gregory Haynes, HBK Style, Stanley S., Robert White, Stacey Hawkins, Michelle Schulte, Mike Murphy, Gray Hawkins, Lindy Beto. Okay. And Jose Arbina, the Pouncing Dragon. It's exciting. Rob O'Brien. Uh, I, I was wore out, and I am wore out. Uh, my plan was not to go live, but see... There's that big old goat over there. I'm saving the hammerhead. Uh, and I think I'm going to do some... I'm going to do a shark week. Like, I enjoyed goat week. So, so why not do a shark week? Um, but, so I can have shark stuff to work on. But, also... Uh, I got to get that goat out of here. And he's so close to done, I think I can knock him out in like an hour and a half tonight. So I might as well just do it. Right? And since Shark Week is like next week, um, that's good timing. I'll get through Monster Camp. What are these, you ask? It's not incense. My mom used to burn incense like that. She's a hit. Um these are spikes for spike ore that I'm going to mold so that I have spikes for spike ore just in case spike ore gets picked on a Wednesday coming up, you know? Let's go put this over here somewhere. Hello, Gray. Hello, Scott McDonald and Rachel Powell. Rob O'Brien. Uh, you know what? Uh, there's something that I say all the time at dark hour, and that is... Finished is my favorite color. Finished is my favorite color. Because, dang, having things be finished is uh, really nice. And uh, I may look a bit like a madman. I was not prepared to go live. I dressed myself today. Okay, let's get this uh, Godicus Maximus over here to be worked on. The werewolf leg is done. I finished the sculpting on it earlier, right before I went live. Uh, so I can show you um, the werewolf leg here in a bit. And uh, I'm going to mold it probably tomorrow. I have to mold it tomorrow or Thursday. So uh, that's going to happen. I'll make sure I go live for that. And I want to have that. Um, I want to have this. Uh, Done and out of the way. There's things that are just in my way. I gotta get that fixed. Oh, you guys wanna see how clean the shop is? Okay, well let's let's pretend that you guys just walked into the shop. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna because our things are like our things reversed for you, because when I look at this, it's reversed. But if it's not for you, that's fine. But I'm gonna flip the camera around anyway. And this is when you just walk in the shop door. If you walk in the shop door to the right, there's a sink and that's a bathroom that uh, hasn't been cleaned yet. 
And then you go this way. That's a sewing station. It's right here. Uh, Phil has to leave. There's a station right there. That station right there is uh, normally the plaster molding station. Plaster's underneath of it. General tools. My computer sets up there. Monitor. That's my movable work table, which can go anywhere. Paint station. Different tool station. Different tool. No, that's actually leather working in that thing. Steel table. That one there holds mostly sculpting stuff. And then this is paint. Uh, this holds all the paint and brushes and hair and ma it's kind of a mask finishing station. So there you go. This is the shop and it is pretty clean because most of the flat surfaces don't have too much on them. Uh, I'm not saying it's like whistle clean, but hey. It's weird that it's reversed when it's recorded, but when I run it through YouTube live, it doesn't reverse. Oh, werewolf foot. Okay, yes. <laughs> Sorry. I'm going to hit this with a, uh, I'll spray it down. No, I'll get you guys closer. I also have the uh, air scrubbers. We'll have one of the air scrubbers turned off, so it's probably quieter in here. Yeah, so if you get a sense of how that whole thing looks um, size-wise. And fur covers all of this. Okay, so all this is in fur. And then all this is in fur. And I'll probably bring fur down to here and, and start, you know, you can have this will be out in paint job. Why, why keep the foot away from Jordu? And it is symmetrical so that it is both a right foot and a left foot. So there is a ankle bone on both sides. <laughs> but eh, who cares? Um, and it'll be a three piece mold. The first piece will be the mold line is going to run here like I'm going to mold wall here right down the middle right down the middle here and all this is in the front of the mold and then there'll be a half on this side and a half on the other side uh, you have to run a balance between um, meaty enough and strong enough and uh, not being too clunky for the silt walker. Oh, he likes feet a little too much. Okay, well, whatever you're into, I won't. I won't kink shame Jordu. I was uh, messaging with him earlier today about uh, the one of the sculpting groups that I work on with him. Okay, let's get this moist. It's all fun and games until you got a good moist foot. And then in the bag, when I bag it, I put a container of water. So there's a container of water right there too. 
uh, to keep that a nice moist environment. In the next two days, this guy will get moldy because this is one of the things in my way for monster games. I just want to have the shop kind of clean. I want to have some of these projects cleaned up. Okay. Hello, everybody. All right, I'm going to flip the camera back around so I can see what you guys see. Terrible. Will the pledge evaporate off the wed, or will there always be a bit of residue? Well, I'm throwing all that clay away, so I don't care if there's residue. And honestly, if I add a little bit of wax to it, it's not that different from adding a little bit of glycerin to it, which is what wed is anyway. Hello, big dog. Okay, so. Boy, I almost, I shouldn't mention this. Yeah, no, I'm not going to mention it. I now have to mention what I wasn't going to mention because that's just wrong. I can't do that. Um, so, Monster Camp is a little weird. Uh, we had a last minute cancellation. So, Monster Camp is only three people for the weekend. Um, and I reached out to one person because they're local to see if they want to come and do it this weekend. If somebody is super interested in Monster Camp and wants to come out this weekend, uh, let me know. But I'm gonna get this guy set up. Yeah, but that's what I was gonna mention, what I said I wasn't gonna mention, but there you go. Now I'm gonna put a bucket under this so it's taller. about to work on the hair of it. Uh, realms, you made a sheet ghost, that's great, awesome. Happy for you. How did it turn out? Hello, Misty. No worries about being late, don't sweat it. Thanks, James, I'm glad you like the masks. Glad it turned out good. You should post a picture of it or send me a picture of it. Okay. I haven't been live with like just me here in a while. Uh, this guy just got a little dusty. Hello, Tutwork Studio. Tutwork Studio. Also, because of the way the syllables in Tutwork Studio works out, my brain always says it to pop up video. You know, pop up video from whatever the channel was that wasn't MTV. Was it VH1? What was it called? I don't know. I don't know. Do we have any new uh, costume? people watching this evening, that'd be fun. They're all like, what is this demon goat stuff? I was, I was here for the pirate, come for the pirate suits and stay for the demon goats. That's what the, we should say. Uh, so this is uh, just alcohol. I'm cleaning the dust off of this because he has been in the shop for a little while. So I'm just getting the dust off so that when I glue and the alcohol will evaporate quickly. Uh, if I cleaned it with any other cleaner, it would just take a little longer for it to evaporate. Hello? Um, I think it would last a while outside. Uh, especially, you know, paint it because you want to protect it from the sun. Uh, give it a paint job, but 
Um, I think it would last a while. The Loctite foam is a lot more sun uh, hardy than uh, great stuff is. Like great stuff breaks down really fast. Yeah, I want to get this guy finished and sold. Um, that, that would be very nice. It's looking like my Halloween season will be very different than normal, so I, uh, I want to make sure I have room to make things. If any orders do come in, I want to be able to be free and be able to do them. Getting him done and getting some of the other projects done is a good idea. Um, I don't have a source right now. I had like eight cases before all this began. I stocked up, so I was in really good shape. Yep, that's a lot of it. You gotta, you know, make sure that everything you're gonna do is gonna work and be legal. So yeah, I, I can imagine there is a good bit of redesigning going on in the whole long world. Uh, it's actually just me tonight. Um, Shannon is over at the house. Uh, she is working on things. Um, we push, so we have a little bit of catch up to do. Okay. All right. So I'm going to put the fur on. Let's do that. Hey, Larry, uh, I want to start Cujo. You guys have an invoice. Pay the invoice. I will start the Cujo. Uh, I don't know if you monitor the email that's on your PayPal or whatever. A lot of people do not. No big deal. But uh, find that email, and uh, or if you need us to resend it, just give me a heads up. But whatever email is tied to your PayPal, we haven't, you haven't paid the invoice that we sent. Yes, the doggos will probably come in at some point. Hey, JC. Thank you very, ma very much. I'm glad you enjoyed it, and I'm glad uh, you got helped out with corpsing. not on the site yet, but I assure you it's coming. Uh, we were fighting through a container shortage, but now my bottles are ordered and my bottles will be here shortly. Um, there's just some weirdness in the world. You know how it be, yo. And I don't think I'm going to do the whole candle opera and stuff with him. I think I'm just going to do three eye demon goat uh, so I can get him finished in a uh, fashion. Enigma, I haven't even started PTM. You're the only person who asked me about PTM. I swear to you, it's not hard to make. Is there a monster in the bathroom? What kind of person do you think I am? There's a lot of monster art in the bathroom.
I don't know why Big Dog just said in and out burgers, but he has my attention. I get mine Flying Dutchman style, which is just meat and mustard fried Flying Dutchman style. Delicious. I'm going to close the bathroom door, freaking it all out. There's also a big mirror in the bathroom, so. Uh, Rob, that sounds uh, actually kind of fun and interesting. Um, and I did enjoy doing the pirate video, uh, the thrift store challenge video. I liked that. I thought that was good. Uh, I thought it was fun. Um, and I will probably do it again uh, with some different types of characters. Like, uh, I was thinking I'll do a goblin or an orc or both or either. Um, because people might not understand how easy it is to get put orc costumes together in a thrift store. Lots of things are murdered. I'm going to pull with a lot of them. Probably shouldn't have said that. received a very awesome t-shirt in the mail today that is a uh, Bigfoot shirt um, hide and seek champion uh, which I had seen the meme and I thought that was funny uh, and uh, now I have an awesome shirt so you'll probably see me wearing that one day where I am not doing something that I'm going to destroy it. and it's not black so that's awesome Hope everybody's doing okay. I have a little bit of a sore throat simply because, uh, well, I talked for five hours yesterday doing a live video. This is contact cement. You got to paint it on both sides, and I am going to use it to hold up the fur in this. Uh, the face of the of this goat is already flocked, so. I will have to do a little bit of weird blending in, and I'll have to do some trimming. John C., thank you. Um, I can't get over what a great bunch of guys that was and how how just nice it was to talk to other people who were kind of a little bit in the same boat. Um, I felt like the old man in the room because <laughs> those are very young guys. But uh, yeah. And we may do that again. Outer band to the hurricane. Where are you, Tickle Hill? Like, what area are you in? Double, double. Hello, April. I'm going to have to trim off. That's okay. Because, you know, this is meant to go all the way up in here, and I actually have flocked up in there. You know, that's not too bad. Uh, I don't mind putting it over the flocking. 
bring the uh, contacts of it up a little higher. All right. Uh, did you see the, the, the fish monster creature suit that we did, I don't know, was it Wednesday or Tuesday, something? We did one very recently. Masato, good to see you. I'm doing great, thank you. Uh, yeah, I think it turned out good, uh, and I'll, I'll be I'll be making more of that suit simply because of. Uh, well, I just I'll be making more of that suit, and I think I'll be making a set of monster gloves that go, that are a little more sharky and make them so they have a, like a fin down here just a little bit and uh, I think that'll be really cool. And I'm waiting on glue to dry. While I'm waiting on glue to dry, I guess I could paint the inside of the ear. Don't be pushy. Yeah, we've had uh, one heck of a schedule here this week, too, for that Coco bid, doing a lot of stuff. Uh, Lisa, I'm also doing a set of Hepteron claws, so don't you worry. It's happening. There's nothing wrong with sounding like Barry White, Ezekiel. Well, let's get it on. Not that that sounded like Barry White. Uh, yes, I have flocked the face. Thank you, Scott. Uh, Realm, it's not sad that I won't be on tomorrow. Be happy for me that I'll be able to rest. That's what you, and I'm not even resting. I'm actually, when I take off on Tuesdays, I'm not resting at all. What I'm doing is I'm working on YouTube Wednesday, which is the edited video that I do. So I shoot that in the daytime, and then I, I shoot that in the daytime, and then I spend most of the day in the evening editing it. And when that posts at midnight, it's because I just got it done. So however late it is past midnight, that's how long I was working on it. I understand Tickle Hill. Uh, I'm going to do some Hefter on gloves. Don't you worry. Um, I edit the videos on uh, Windows Movie Maker. That's, that's it. I use Movie Maker. Uh, that's a little bit limiting, but it's fast and I know it. So uh, there's some things that I can't do that I would like to do, um, but I don't have the time to invest in learning a new system. I honestly don't. I've tr I tried a while back, and if it's not really intuitive, then I'm not. I don't have time um, to learn it. So, any any noticeable uptick in video quality would mean a downtick in production because I have to take time to learn. Editing would take twice as long. I'd have to take off Monday and Tuesday to edit to get a YouTube Wednesday video. So. I know that I am not a video maker, I'm a monster maker. I just like to share. But yeah, I use Movie Maker, that's it. 
and it's filmed on my phone, and then I use Movie Maker. They do, but it's not on Windows. You have to download the program separately. Um, I don't know if the creature gloves are on the website or not yet. I'll have to check. I'll have to ask my webmaster. And I have to get myself a beverage. <laughs> now it's Cujo time. Okay. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, and I do a set of hands that are completely different. Um, I do hands that are different. So, um, gloves. Gloves are coming. I have not put gloves on my website yet. I don't think. Ninety people. Hello, ninety people. I'm gonna ask a question slash favor of you ninety people who are watching. Now probably sixty people are watching. And the other ones just kind of have it on and they're doing their own thing and I get that. My question is, why are you watching this live stream? What do you enjoy about this live stream? Is the product is it the product placement for Coke Zero? That happens a lot. Matthias. Hello. You like learning, learning how to make stuff. Okay. Great. And so what's happening now is I'm looking a little bit off of camera. And right, this is a big screen TV that I have in the shop so that I can read comments. Very cool, Matthias. I don't know if I'm a master. Be careful about that. All your friends are here from across the pond. That's true. Yeah. Now, now you know people. Now you're uh, you're hooked. Uh, roast house. That was very kind. Thank you. Interaction. You know what? I will tell you that the Creepers and this whole group um, has become a real blessing in this time of quarantine and uncertainty, you know? Hello, Lucy32. You're there for Jones. He may bust in later. Oh, well, very cool. I'm glad I remind you of your professors from college. John Kerr, also very kind. Boy, if I had ego problems, this would really be helping me. Y'all are really nice. Where's, where's 1980 to kick me back down? <laughs> uh... Skin and Bones, cool, thank you. Yes, we have a very talented team who's here. Mm -hmm. Can you still use casting plaster instead of a pottery? Of course, yeah, I mean, as long as it has strength, like what kind of plaster is it? Like what's the name of it? Yes, I can. I can always count on my hand.
Uh, Evan Molar, I don't know what's happening. Uh, Guy Proc. Guy Proc. Uh, I, I, you know what? I get people who ask me or try to figure out if I am kind of the same in person as I am on on screen, uh, and I feel like I am. I very much think I'm the same guy. We're just going in now, and we're pushing down that edge. That's a good run for that. comments for me? Oh, that's so awesome. It's wife. And it's Cheney. And it's, look, it's Boris. <laughs> okay. Boy, it's Sumac. Um, there are, there are things that I know what I'm doing. And, and there's things that you're going to, I'm going to learn right along with you. Uh, but if I screw that up, at least I screwed it up and you have to do it on your dime. Honey, why'd you get our dogs so dirty? What? Why? Why? I want you guys to see this. This is my white and black dog, Bella, who is just brown with dirt. She is brown with dirt, Bella. You've been rolling in mud. You guys have been in mud. Oh, oh, jaw scritches. Okay, let's get back to work. Oh, you're not done with scritches. Okay. Uh, yeah, the spray contact cement, isn't that awesome? Honey, I think I'm caught up. Now, I did ask people why they watched the live stream, and I could not catch all of it. But that's okay. Most I could go back and read that later. I just want to make sure that what we're doing folks like. This would stop here. Okay. I'm adjusting a pattern. <laughs> I can't get you one day, I guess. No. So, honey, I'm caught up to Linda Forbes Thursday night when you were not on. I spent an hour going through 250 channels. <laughs> I haven't seen anything after that. This man, this. No, no worse fate than the Hallmark Channel. Man, how many times can you watch a Good Witch movie? Oh, four hundred and seven. Or I, I know you do. Or, or the one Hallmark movie where the girl's in a relationship, but she has to go to the country, and she meets a guy there who lives in the country, and then. It is all revealed to her that um, her life in the city is no good and she should move to the country and probably be with the country guy, who maybe she knew when she was in high school or something. Uh, which, by the way, is every freaking Hallmark movie. Everyone is that plot. It's like an Apple Festival or something. Yeah, but anyway. Ezekiel's going to a vineyard on the weekend. We'll be there for the hunt for some reds. Oh, nice. Awesome. Oh, red, Ezekiel. Uh, contrary to some people's opinion of me, I'm not just trolling here. Oh, it's 1980. Here, I actually follow some of your techniques I've learned where I messed up and how to do it right. That's good. 
<laughs> I like how you said you're not just trolling. I'm also doing this. This is so true. Alan, you just gave away every lifetime of Hallmark plot booty. I did. I did. <laughs> That's what they're all like. And I'm like, I know I don't want to watch them, but, you know, I'll be out here and I'll go talk to Shannon and she's got one on and I'll see two minutes of it. And then like a week later, I'll see two minutes of a different one, but it could just be the same one. If you took the front, the middle and the back of all of them and just mixed them up, it, you know, maybe the lady's hair color will change. <laughs> says, uh, uh, my wife lives on the Hallmark Channel as soon as the Christmas story, love stories start. Oh, uh, Shannon loves those too. Uh, no, 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 she doesn't. What? I do not love the Christmas ones. Wrong. You watch, you well, watch Christmas. I tried. Oh, okay. So that you, you tried. I liked the autumn series they did. They only did like five of them. I like fall. But no, no. The Christmas was too much. Was and, too, too sappy and, for Christmas? And in my defense, I tend to follow uh, a Hallmark movie up with a, an Aliens movie and a shot of tequila. So there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Susan and Ty. I like to have the Hallmark channel on. They always know it's a happy ending. Something in short supply these days. That's true. Uh, Alan yeah. made a crack about the Good Witch series. That's fine. But I will tell you that sometimes my Halloween or my viewing, I need something fluffy. And then I'll balance it out with, you know, something not fluffy. And sometimes you need a little something to Um, I have found you normally do not need to use a release. Um, mist the mold with water and then um, do your foam and it should come right out. Hello, Joanne Crowley, Robert White. They not do a lot of sharing is because I'm too busy observing. Dingle Hill Cemetery. I didn't know there was any difference between the Christmas lights. Difference, no difference except the Christmas lights in the background. Uh, Apparently, my wife can tell. No. <laughs> really, there's not. But once in a while, a fluffy, harmless movie suits me. And then again, I will balance it out with something exactly the opposite. Kind of depends. My professional world, at times, has got plenty of edge. I do not need to find it elsewhere. Occasionally, a kitten video or a fluffy Hallmark movie smooths the feathers and then you can go on. I have a plan. 1980 says every Hallmark movie plots a woman leaves the city for country life, buys a hotel or a house, falls in love with a local guy after they have a disagreement. Yes. Uh, Pretty much. <laughs> Stacy says, listen, I don't really Hallmark movie, but I'll take a fluffy costume, period, piece, anything. That as well. You know what I enjoyed? That sometimes help. I enjoyed Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. Pride and Prejudice and Zombies, I enjoyed. That was, that was fun. Movie. Fun movie. It was fun. It was a fun movie. Realms wants to know what's in the bag. What's in the bag? What, what bag? Uh, I don't even know what bag he's talking about. Yes, I mean that bag. Oh, this is, this is wool. This is um, wool from the Woolery. And I'm going to do his ears in this wool. And I might do some hair in here as a blender. Uh, in between the two. Since uh, this guy is kind of what I have planned to do tonight, I'm going to make sure that I do him well. Bravo Bryant says, and then those molds should not be used for food again. Uh, you know what? The Loctite foam isn't that bad. Run through the dishwasher. That'll sanitize them. It's not like it's um, foam latex, which will, you know, bake cyanide into stuff. You don't want that. Okay. 
Yeah, we're here. Uh, I'm going to do the back of the gear. I got some in. Right here, I got to do hair. Cosplay? Uh, I I believe that he said he was a cosplayer. Yes, recently. Boy, that's a familiar name. Okay. <laughs> Dead end yard hunts. Chase the Hallmark movie down with a run runner. Yeah, I mean, I, I have to balance out the fluff with something edgy uh, when I'm watching something that's, that's fun. Celeste Kitty says, Pride, Prejudice, and Zombies, the movie freaking sucked. We had fun with it. It was fun. It, it was, was fun. fun. I'm not saying it was a good movie. I'm saying it was fun. Uh, 1980 says, Hamilton and Zombies coming soon. I am down for that. That would be fun. Uh, big Dog. Tell Horror Beauty, I only sent you two cat videos. She's not believe me. Uh, horror Beauty, it's true. He only sent me two. I guess he... So is, that, is that two per evening? No, it's two last night. But that's just not enough. So, Scott Craig, Paul Moore needs to do Murder with me. Because that would be fun. Yeah. So Les says the book was amazing. Uh, Pride of Prejudice is on this. Ezekiel. Between the Backstreet Boys and the wife's car and her introducing my daughter to Twilight, I had my work cut out for me to undo the smoke. That's so. <laughs> Particularly Hill Cemetery. I use one type phone to fill the tree man arms and head from a home store. And the cane, the cane they came out just fine. Just had to be patient to not destroy your original. Cool. Okay, so this is wool from the woolery. See how fine that is? I normally like it a little coarser, but I think laying next to this, uh, it's going to be okay. So that's kidding. Also, your friend looks like he's having a bad day. Ha ha ha. Uh, HPK Styles. I think we could pitch a TV show about what you do. Well, that's, that's what we say around here is in my massive spare time. I could do that TV show. Werewolf ex-boyfriend from high school meets up with girlfriend years later. Will he win our heart again? On the Claw Mark channel. The Claw Mark uh, channel. John. John. Okay, that was good. That's pretty great. Uh, Tina Kusiak. Kusiak. Tina, I hope I said that right. I apologize if I did not. Uh, my one fluffy movie is Sense and Sensibility. That's mostly for Alan Rickman. Gina, I'm with you. Okay, so the fluffiest movie that I enjoy is like Lady Hawk. That's good. Yeah. That's good. I, I have, I have, I love period piece movies. So not all of them, but a good part of them. Ben Fence. So my technique is I pull off a hank of wool, all right? That's how long the fibers are. I'm going to cut this in half and glue down the straight edge so I have this natural roughness on the rest. Matthew's product does do cosplay. Okay, I thought I saw that. Yeah. Poison Sumac. Here's a go. It's a wonderful lie. It was in public domain. It would start on Thanksgiving. would run two or three dimes a day through Christmas. I remember that. Uh, I don't exactly remember what station, what channel did it, but I remember that. And that was, that was a little much. Uh, Ralph says it looks so good. Thanks, Realms. Do you mean what I'm working on or what you worked on? Rose made a... He made a sheet ghost, sheet mask. ghost mask. I haven't mask. seen it yet. Yes, he did. I saw that. Oh, yeah, but I haven't seen it yet. Are you using silicone to attach the wool rope? Yes, I am. I'm using silicone, exactly. Hi, Jerry Collins. Where do you get your wool at? The Woolery. The Woolery.com. And I go to Natural Fibers. And then normally I go to exotics, and I just pick something that I like. This is not caracal wool. This is uh, a much finer. This might be a merino wool, but I'd have to look. The addition of zombies was the only way I would finally read for the impressions. Caitlin Lundbury, Mouse. Mouse has left 
the house to ease his pain. He's down the drain. Oh, Lady Hawk. Oh, yes. Great. Yeah. Uh, Sadara, I like Lady Hawk. Even when I first saw it as a kid, how they were going to resolve it was obvious. Stacy says Lady Hawk is one of Tony's favorites. Kate Lunder says, I love Lady Hawk. You can't beat that soundtrack. <laughs> so many 80s keyboards. Joanne Crowley, I also like Lady Hawk, but have not watched it since my husband passed. Oh. Eagle Pants, Eagle Pants, three. Give me far too many ideas for the wool robe I'm supposed to be snipping into dark. This, well, see, this is. It, it's just good hair, you know? It's not that expensive. This big bag that I've got will probably do 10 masks, maybe 15. And uh, this big bag was probably 40 bucks. I think it's two pounds of wool. Or ship down, now that's a funny film. This is good. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that and Rats of Nim. Feel good hits of the summer right there. <laughs> big dog. We have a baby creeper to the family. My niece had a baby today, so I'll be doing Halloween costumes for the baby creeper. Gonna start them young. Sweet. That's great. Congratulations, Uncle Big Dog. Yeah. Matthias Prado, from what materials are these boards made? Uh, so I did these live. It was a while ago, but these are EVA foam, and then I coated them with liquid nails. And when the liquid nails was uh, wet, I ran basically a comb tool through it and gave it all these little ridges. So it's EVA foam with uh, liquid nails on it. And it makes a nice, durable, lightweight horn. Ralph says, that mask is $100 right? This mask? Hold on. Let's see. Count it up. 100 25 for horns, and for this style of horn, that's a freaking bargain. So 125, 150 for this kind of hair, 175, uh, this is 200 because he has latex teeth and 88 years. So he's going to be 200. If he would just 25 more than 175. So yes, this is a $200 mask. You got it. Normally I wait until it is uh, cured. It's easier to clean up then. And in yard haunt's gonna have a grant and has his first grandbaby coming this month, August eighteenth. That's, that's awesome. That's great. Congratulations. That is so sweet. Eight nine people are watching. Hi everybody. He says I mean I've been a loogie. <laughs> Yeah, this black wool hair, whatever you want to call it, is very fine. This, this bit isn't very long either. What I'll probably do next time is I'll just cut the end off and use most of it. particular Hank was just too short. 
Hair hides a lot of sins. Yeah, see, and this one is shorter also, so I'm going to just cut this end off and I've got this nice long bit to do. hair down here it would be in my way when I do the rest of them. So now I have to kind of start on the end and put the hair on the end and work my way towards the middle. to not use your hands and use like a popsicle stick because uh, once it is stuck to your fingers, your life is over. Is the part long before you cut it? Yeah, I can show you exactly what it looks like before I cut it. Give me one second here. I'm going to get this ear finished up. covered in liquid nails. Yeah. Yeah, they, they last haunt season. Okay. That big guy, okay, just learned a work smarter, not harder. If it's possible. I love how soft this hair is. It's nice for pittance. Uh, let's prep a hank of hair. Third eye, will it be white or another color? Uh, I'm not sure yet. Um, like, there's going to be an actor. The other eyes are the actor's eyes. So, you know, um, the other eyes are the actor's eyes. So, if I put the wrong color eye in there, they're not going to match the actor's eye. If I leave it white, they're not going to match the actor's eye unless he's wearing white contacts. So when I pull it apart, that's how long it is, just like that. Is that the same hair you used on the other goat? No. The long hair on the other goat was my regular hair weave hair. The blocking came out of it. Thank you. I'm a fan. again.
Now that hank that I just cut was long enough for me to cut down the middle and use both halves. Yes, he could, certainly could have a mutton choppy look, and that is the area of his head that I am doing now. How much does the wool cost? Uh, so, this much, is this on camera, honey? Yes. This much is about 40 bucks, uh, and I'll be able to do about 10 masks for that. If I did the whole mask, it might only do like, you know, five or six, but uh, when I'm just doing like highlights and stuff like this, I, it's going to last a long time. place called The Woolery, which is a, The Woolery, it's a place online, it's a website, thewoolery.com. But, you know, buy by the two pound bag, that's how I buy everything, so, from The Woolery, that's how I buy it. No, I, I do. I take it out of the bag and I separate it from the hank by, by tugging and then I put it on. I, I'm not hiding any part of the process from you. That's the whole bag sitting right there. And I pull it off and I put it on. Uh, this wool I think is merino wool. Uh, I think this is merino wool, but um, I, I, this is a little fine for my tastes, uh, so I probably won't use this exact wool again. Um, it's just, a, it's a little fine, fine, the hairs are too fine. It's very soft, and it kind of blends together. Uh, I did a Wolfman makeup on Rue a while back, uh, that those pictures are out, and if you look at the hair on him, it all kind of blends together, because the wool is too thin. That looks nice. And, and some of this isn't glued down, and it's going to come off. Once that... Um, yeah, so once that... Uh, and I'm going to airbrush that area too to blend that in a little more so it goes from one black to another. That wool is a little thicker. It still looks great and it varies. Yes, my favorite is caracal wool. Uh, the caracal wool because it matches my beard. It's a good color for werewolves. Um, and I, I really like the caracal wool. I, I thought that was excellent. The technique I'm referring to. Yeah, so that's kind of already been done. Uh, that was already been done. That's been this has been brushed through and brushed out. And um, I uh, yes, that's already been done. Can I see it up close? See what up close? Sure. I mean, the wool is beautiful. It looks like beautiful hair, long beautiful hair. But you can also see how it kind of blends together. The fibers aren't rough. The fibers are very fine. So. It looks so fluffy. Uh, it could be fluffy. 
and I pull it apart like that, and now I'm going to use this on the head out here. Chain? He's, he's in the tripod. There we go. different way. I'm going to fold the stick. <laughs> I'm gonna... Sideshow Bob would approve from the scissors. What did he approve of? The hair. Huh. Isn't he a Rastafarian? I did not. Okay, so that side is done. Let's see the difference. That side has been all haired out. And this side has not. And I haven't finished his teeth. Oh, I'm selling it. I don't I don't keep a lot. Yeah, this is my business, so most of what I work on I'm selling. If anybody wants to buy this guy, he's two hundred dollars. Stacy says, I want to make one of those in a fluffy pastel so bad. Uh they have the wool for that. What's good is that the wool is kind of absorbent, so it actually absorbs a little bit of that silicone into it, even though the silicone is nice and thick. Are they pointing the camera at the right spot? Yeah, uh, pretty much. Justin, are you says hello? Hey, Justin. stick is to touch silicone and the other popsicle stick will just touch hair in theory. Are you going to add drool? I don't think I will add drool to this guy. Do you remember the gorgeous aquifer we got at dark hour for the wear for the raid of Valentine's show? That's definitely killer to you, Yes, but I am trying to get it. <laughs> Linda, do, do Mr. Hobbs, do you have plans to show how you mold the werewolf stilt cover? I really want to see the process of a three part mold. Yeah, that'll be live. I'll make sure I do it live. Why will I make sure that I do it live? because I want it to take three times as long. Uh, I, yeah, I, I don't think I've done a lot of three-piece molds on my channel. So, um, I used to do them all the time when I was making silicone masks, so I made a bunch, but.
spouses, and we appreciate it. It's going down every moment. Well, it was 90, wasn't it? Yeah, that's okay. I mean, I, this is this is pretty calm stuff. I mean, I'm putting hair on something. Uh, I would say, yeah, give it a mist. Remind the plaster that it too was once a, once a liquid, so they will accept new plaster. Do you make your own stills? Uh, no, most of the time I do not. I have, I can, but most of the time I do not. Uh, if I'm selling them to someone or if... Um, or if I'm making a costume for Dark Hour, I want to have a person in the liability chain who made the stills that was not me. Sadly, that's kind of the world we're in, and I would rather make monsters than do the metal fabrication work for stilts. And I just had a hard time finding somebody to do that, to partner up with. And I don't take this the wrong way, a lot of metal workers are sketchy. Like, they're just sketchy. I think that their world is so, their material they use all the time is so stable and so practical that they feel they have to be squirrely to balance out their lives. It's been an awesome stream, but it's almost midnight where I live, so I have to go to sleep. Tired today. Thanks for the great content. I hope to see more streams in the future. See you guys. It's an excellent product. Well, awesome. Thanks for watching, sir. I gotta say, this is JC, that I love the way you made the werewolf leg and the dexterous. One mold for a lot of references. Yeah. Yeah, don't don't work harder. <laughs> God bless. Hey, I'm a metal worker. Thanks for me, sense. <laughs> I mean, maybe maybe you know what I'm talking about, or maybe you're like, hey, that's a wrong depiction. Um, it just seems they're kind of squirrelier people. Remember when I said I wasn't going to use my finger and I was going to use a popsicle stick? See how that's think, working out. Do you think that E6000 will hold the nose price, the nose piece that broke? He's going to brush a thin layer of plaster over the crack and hopes it will kind of sealing the adhesive. No, E6000 is a flexible adhesive, and you're trying to glue a rigid to a rigid, so you want a rigid adhesive. Um, you'd be better off with something like super glue, in all honesty. Super glue would do better because um, it's going to absorb into both halves. I would not use E6000. That's a flexible glue. And you're gluing a rigid. Okay, so the back of the ear is done. And the uh, behind the ear is done. Behind the horn is done. Yes. And it says squirrely people tend to like nutty people also. Uh, our web says we are a squirrely bunch. I think it's the heavy metal settings in our systems. Maybe. Uh, there might be more truth than you think.
Okay, wife, I need a quick story. Are you ready for a quick story? Uh, how 45 second story. I'll tell you what happened last night. Sure. Okay, so last night, uh, Alan was in the, uh, the pool and know when Alan is in the pool he's kind of in a vulnerable state state of undress and uh, uh, I don't know if you guys can see him he heard something and the dogs heard something and I had already gone to bed because I worked today so I had to get some sleep and the dogs are great Pyrenees and if you know a great Pyrenees then you know that uh, that they are are dogs that are guardian, livestock guardian dogs, and they're very territorial. But they're puppies, so they're still learning how this works. Anyway, he heard something, and usually when the dogs hear something, it's tails up and they're barking and they're going after it because they're dogs. But this time they didn't. They went out to the clearing where, right before the trees begin, and stood out there staring out into the dark, and he said, or who knows what this was, he said that he saw that he heard something and the dogs heard something and they followed it from the tree line uh, and the property line past our property line down to the next property where the chickens started going crazy down to the next property which is several acres down so this is a long way that this whatever this was was going but it was going against a it was going down a perimeter fence and because uh, we, we keep everything fenced in and then the dogs were waiting and watching and then the dog and then it, then it came back and this is this is very unusual behavior lots of the wildlife we have here deer coyotes uh, armadillo raccoons rabbits and it's name it we've got it here uh, you usually can tell what they're gonna do and especially with a coyote you know what's gonna happen and you know that the coyote is probably gonna get a whiff of a bunch of dogs and doesn't want to have anything to do with it whatever this was last night did not do that did I tell that right mm hmm and uh, so we are about to set up a trail cam, which uh, we meant to do anyway. Alan got one for his birthday, for Christmas. And uh, we're gonna see what it is, what's moving out there in the trees, because it, it was unusual last night. It was not something to say, we know what that is. It's a deer. We know what that is. It's a coyote. It didn't happen last night. So we will keep you updated on what's out in the trees. I don't know that I wanna know. I do wanna know. We want to know. What if it's like a person? Yeah. What if, what if it's just some naked dude prowling around if out in the back of our property? If it's a person, you leave that to me. What if it's a neighbor? If it's a monster, you deal with it. If it's a person, you leave that to me. Yes, Bigfoot. That's what everybody wants it to be. But By the way, was, I'm going to punch you. This was weird. Hey, chickens. Chicks. Bobcat. Could have been. Dirty Santa. Could have been. Uh, I'm thinking. I'm thinking a big cat of some kind. Could have been a big bobcat. Could have been a bobcat. What if it's a gnome in the tree? Well, the gnome can stay. That will grow. <laughs> no, is he killed? That's not. Good. This is the new neighbor saw you in Shannon's undies and decided to pop over for some Marco Polo. No, is he killed? That's not <laughs> Bigfoot riding a chupacabra. Look at him on video, whatever he was. I don't know, girl. Show who's kind of see. Over here, we have Jenkins. This is Jenkins. This is our, this is our little girl. Jenkins. That's her butt. Let's see it. Jenkins, Jenkins. I got it, Jenkins. Uh, they bark. They bark. They charge. They charge forward three steps, and then they would run back. They would run backwards three steps. Which is unusual. So they were very nervous, scared of it, whatever it was. Lisa, we just came back from the Washington wilderness. So many references to Bigfoot up there. Justin Rudy, we live in the city, and we bought a house towards the country where we live, and we see all kinds of fun friends we never dealt with. 
I love it, but I do want to know what it is. Uh, Ezekiel, the drop bear I sent with the Tim Tams got out. He's harmless. <laughs> Rodney Pope, I can only imagine what all y'all have out there because here in the middle of the hell, you said bobcats, coyotes, rabbits, raccoons, our little snakes, and possums. I, I'm thinking a bobcat uh, because of how unusual this was. And it wasn't the normal thing that the dogs mark at. So I've seen bobcats several times while I'm out fishing, and I can't hear them walking. That's the thing. That's what I don't like about it. Is I could hear this guy walking. I could hear it move through the back of the property. Lovely black cat I've had a few in my life, says Lucy 32. Uh, Lucy 32, you know, I'm going to say Lucy 32. What does an armadillo feel like? Uh, feels like a leather suitcase. <laughs> Did it. I was testing out my big foot pants. Do you have cougars out there? Apparently we have great whites here in Maine. I bet you do, Texas. Yeah, we have mountain lions in Texas, but I don't think we, I think what we probably had last night was probably a big cat of some kind. Uh, my, my guess would be a bobcat, but and usually when we hear there's coyotes, there's several of them in the air. Yeah, they're making noise. They, they make a lot of noise. This says they had a cougar in their neighborhood last year. A drop there would be an invasive cryptid, right? I was, I was way more into um, cougars when I was younger. <laughs> that just jokes. My group says you're not going to know unless you go look. That's right. Trail cam. We're going to find out. Trail cam. Black cat by the plastic bag. Yep. That's chickens. But if you hear, um, if you hear a noise out in the woods and you go investigate, I know one thing about you. You are a white person. <laughs> that is some grade A white people she stuff right there. Yeah. She's like, she's like, I'm going to go see what that was. That's always, white people stuff, honey. I always honey. go out and look. You knocked that off. I, yeah, I know. But I have to go look. Aliens. <laughs> I have seen this movie. One of your creatures scoping out the area talked to a crazy local who had a store about something on the loose every two years. I agree. Linda says, it's Bigfoot. You have a million dollar video. Will you share it? Keep it quiet. I would wait for him and punch him. I'd find it. Uh, let's see. I think Realms says, I wish I could get that mask, but it won't fit in my belt. Yeah, Realms, don't sweat it, dude. Daddy says, I still like doodles. Justin, we live in Ohio towards Dayton, so we don't get anything too crazy here. Only cool things so far. We got an owl that lives behind my our house and a fox that keeps eating my girlfriend's garden. Justin, what kind of owl do you have? What kind of vegetarian fox have you got? <laughs> what kind of owl do you know? Bobcats have pulled people's pets over their fences here with my worst nightmares. I agree. I agree. John C. says it's a female Bigfoot attracted to more people. Chad says, that's the premise of most horror movies. What was that sound? Let's go check it out. I know. Guys, I'm the worst. I will go outside every time to see what it is. Every time. Let's go check it out. I don't stand on the porch and look out in the dark and wonder and go back in and lock the door like a sensible woman. I go out every time. That's why I, I'm going to perish in the first movie. I do. I know this is ridiculous, but I do. Yeah. She had one of my spike horse spikes. Apparently I dropped on the ground. She helped me find it. By devouring it. Bigfoot, wear your new shirt and yell. And yell not anymore. <laughs> what? It's Bigfoot, wear your new shirt and yell not anymore. Yeah. Now imagine if you lived in Australia when you hear a noise in the backyard forest. Now, Ezekiel, 
when, I, when we come to see you one day, I'm telling you, I will go out there and look to see what it is. I can't help I tell you what, me. man. You also, stop me. I'm down. Like, that's the side of me that you guys don't see. I am a nature-loving guy. Uh, I really like to be outdoors, out in the woods. Um, I really enjoy that. And, you know, high-level high immersion, I enjoy. Well, Ezekiel, I'm, I'm relying on you to tell me to, to keep me from going out there, because I do want to see what it is. I love nature, so I'll go. Maybe it was a turtle I was trying to get into your pool. That's possible. That would have no. So that's a very fast moving turtle. That, that's a that's a giant turtle. I mean, which I've worked with giant turtles. <laughs> John C. Shannon going into the pro. I know. I will tell you that there was a time of year where we had to keep the turtles separate uh, at Gatorland, the big Galapagos turtles, because um, when turtles get intimate. They sound just like people. They they make the same uh, screaming, moaning noises, and so when guests were in the park, we had to keep them apart because you know they would. Yeah, it's very entertaining. Let's see, Derby Sands says, "Yeah, but that's Texas. Y'all are all always armed." Well, there is that. <laughs> it's true. Came a long <laughs> <laughs> I know you said you won't add drool to the mask, but how would you do that? Uh, there's a material that I use for drool. It's a it's a type of caulking. It's a specific type of caulking. Uh, Dead and Darmont. Put some Jack Link's beef jerky in front of your travel game. Yeah. Ezekiel says it's just a critter responding to the calls of your car horn. Just read about the owl. I'm not real sure. He or she doesn't get too close. At times it's looks darkish brown in certain lights and looks gray. Has pointy ears. Uh, Justin Rudy, where, did you say you're in Washington? Did I read that right? Where are you? Just give me a general idea. I'd love to know what kind of owl you have. Sounds like a great horned owl. It does sound like If it's got pointed ears. It's got pointed ears, ears. those tufts. We don't, we don't have a lot of uh, tufted owls in the United States. Uh, <laughs> Cobwebs, porn star voices. Have you ever punched a turkey? Uh, yeah. Just in Ohio. I can. Well, Great Horns have a, they, they have a full range of the U.S. pretty much. I bet it was a Great Horned Owl. Okay, I think. Work, right? Wow, that's exciting. The uh, right. hair work on him is too. Uh, Ronnie says we have an owl here, but I just heard it. We have a lot of them. How do you fit uh, a mask to a smaller head? Well, you can you can cut it and glue it back together, like cut a wedge out of the back, or you can just add padding into the back of it. Um, if you watch some of my Grave Digger videos, uh, you can just search Grave Digger on my channel. You'll see me cutting and gluing a mask back together for sock mask to fit it on a smaller head. Yeah. Is uh, punching a turtle a euphemism? <laughs> John C. Turtle is the only survival thing. Yes. <laughs> Which is why the Galapagos turtles are in danger. They would just put them under the boat and they would just live down there for a long time and then pull them up when it was time. I forgot what I came over here for. Hi. No, stain, teeth. Good idea. I can only guess as to what that might be. 85 people are watching. Hi, everybody. Hi. So I'm about to work on the teeth of this uh, three-eyed demon goat. 
And I think that I'm slowly coming to the conclusion that I am going to um, put on this eye a hazel eye. That would match with almost any other eye color. Next time I get money, I'm gonna buy some mic stands because the tripod legs are very difficult to work around when I am uh, filming. There we go. That'll keep them apart for a bit. Because right now I have a tripod leg in between my legs. And I think, well, I just put on my Amazon, their camera adapters, honey, for mic stands. Chopstick. There are camera adapters for mic stands because that one single pole would be way more convenient. Yeah, I'll do that. Hey, Spook Shack. That's how it's going. Hello, Spook Shack. Uh, Zico says get rent called Hurricane for a mic stand. Okay. Um, the, what I, my main goal is have a smaller base and a smaller area. Big dog. Yeah, it says I was working on a haunted house and I built a of props for tonight by myself and I kept hearing doors creaking and banging. We are the top two floors of the warehouse. I had to call rent to come. I've done that, man. I've been freaked out in a haunted house before. It's 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 freaky when you're the only guy there and you hear stuff. Uh, I have I was working a haunted trail one night. I left. I'm like, okay, I'm out. Forget this. That looks a little more realistic. Flying fox or bat, whatever it is considered, they are like the uh, size of a, a child almost. Now, I love animals and I love scary stuff, but if that ever flew over my head, I would be in a pair of shorts. Uh, flying foxes are beautiful. Um, yeah. Love the teeth on my yoga, much more detail than I thought. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad. I, I love that the people who I'm making these for are, you know, on the lives and they get to see the process. I think that, that's great. You know what? I like this uh, stain wax. This is uh, Sculpt Nouveau. It's called metal wax, but it's... It's just a distressing compound, and I've started to really use it a lot for teeth and things. Uh, I'm gonna put a little bit around the eye. What color did you just use on the teeth and gums? I love the look. Oh, I just showed it. it, it this is a uh, metal wax from Sculpt Nouveau. It is a staining wax. I worked for a local haunted house type deal, and there was one brick wall that never failed to give me the willies. Everywhere else, I was fine, just that one. Interesting. Allie Carroll says hello, and I love your work. Hey, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Ezekiel says, sorry, not Hurricane. Hercules is the name of the microphone stand you should check out. Okay. Are the, like, I don't need super high end, remember, but um, I will check that out, sir. Kick ass. I was tucked behind the wall panel, wiring up ankle whips in the blacked out maze with a headlamp, the sound echo. Everything sounds like it's right behind you. Yes. Okay, so let's get a hot glue gun ready to go, and let's cut this eye out, and I'll glue in an eye behind it. Well, thanks, Scott. Put in the metal wax. Oh, thank you. That's awesome. It was 
pigs that are introduced on the island that decimate the tortoises? Uh, I actually heard it was sailors. Um, I, 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 I know it's, it, it probably is a combo of both. Pigs are pretty gross. I learned later that someone found a dead body inside one of the walls there, and even though it sounds implausible, I bet you it was that one or something in the years. Do you guys have wild pigs there in your area of Texas? Oh, yes. Uh, so last October, last October we were doing something called the um, Great Pumpkin Challenge. No project. Great pumpkin project. Uh, why don't you explain about that, White? Okay. Tell the uh, story. And, and guys, if you're on Instagram, uh, I and this is a real, this is a real treat. Uh, I found this on Instagram just purely by accident. Actually, Chad Savage of Sinister Vision uh, guided me to it, and he is, uh, he's just, uh, he he knew about it. But there is a a project every October that happens. Uh, on Instagram, and it's called Great Pumpkin Project. You guys can look it up, and uh, you—it's it's supposed to be, you know, bringing the spirit of Halloween about. And uh, you go uh, take a pumpkin, carve it up, make a jack o' lantern, and then you find a spooky place to leave it uh, with a with a with a candle. Or I used LED lights. Uh, so it was fire safe because a lot of times I was leaving them, you know, in all kinds of places. I left them on a hay bale, left them uh, on the porch of an abandoned, abandoned house um, by a railroad track. So, uh, but it was really a, a really cool project because basically if I were driving down a road and I just see a lit pumpkin, a lit jack-o'-lantern, October just sitting there by itself. I would be thrilled. Uh, that's magical to me. And the whole idea is to to leave it somewhere and to evoke the spirit of Halloween, which I think sometimes gets lost. I know it gets lost when you work in the haunted attraction industry because you are focused so much on the season and the show and all that goes with it. And a lot of times you miss uh, the joys of the season. For, for me, one of those is a jack-o'-lantern. Always have a jack o' lantern every Halloween, no matter how busy, no matter what's going on, we have to have one. But uh, the Great Pumpkin Project encourages you to do it throughout the month of October. You don't have to do it every day, but uh, you know, take a few uh, pumpkins and, and throughout the season, something fun to do with the kids, and go find a, a spooky place, maybe by a cemetery or a, uh, I don't know. Um, I left one on a tractor once, an abandoned tractor out in the field, and then he walked away. It just looked amazing. There was this old country road that Alan found coming home from Haunt one night, and it just, it was perfect. There was a perfect tree. We went up, we went there and, and put it in the tree and lit it, and of course those LED lights, tea lights, will light, they'll stay lit for days, and uh, just really, really uh, uh, beautiful. So anyway, if you go on Instagram, and you pull up the Great Pumpkin Project. Uh, I don't even know who this person is, but especially this year, if uh, your show isn't opening, or maybe your show is delayed, or whatever your challenge is, or you're struggling to find Halloween, uh, this is a lovely thing to do. It's such a old fashioned, beautiful, uh, special thing. You're, you're spreading that Halloween spirit around, and you're doing it in a really beautiful way. And I ended up I started on the first day of October, and I ended up doing every day. So 31 days, 32 pumpkins, because then I did one for our house. Honey. Which is a little extreme. That is a lovely, wonderful story about the spirit of Halloween. Tell them about the pigs, honey. Oh, the pigs! Okay. So, <laughs> so I know, no, no, this is important. So, uh, like the third... Meanwhile, I'm going to cut his eye out. The third night... It was, it was like the third or fourth night, Alan found a really good place for us to leave a pumpkin. And so we drive by and say, okay, that's a great place. Let's let's go ahead and turn around. And so we turn around and we put the pumpkin up there. And then we drive by it again as we're driving by, coming down that same road, just, gosh, super close. 100 feet? Oh, my gosh, easily. Two enormous. And I, how, many, how big do you, how much do you think they weigh? They weighed more than me. 
they were 500 pounds a piece. Giant uh, pigs. Uh, one was all tusked up, and he was a boar. And uh, they're just moseying down the road there, and I know they ate that pumpkin. I was like, okay, well, quick, let me get a picture of him, and then jump in the car and drive like hell. Uh, because you don't mess around with those things. But yes, to Joanne, I think it was you who answered. I went down a rabbit hole. I got excited talking about the great Sure pumpkin. did. I'm like, tell them about the pigs. The great pumpkin The project. spirit of Halloween. Yeah. 20 minutes later. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we have pigs. And we don't mess with them. There you go. See, the way I would have told that. Yeah, we got pigs. You're a terrible They're big pigs. Teller. I am. It's not true, honey. I have a visual storyteller badge on most of the groups I belong to. came into our property. But, I get excited talking about the Crap. great pumpkin project. You did. And now I have to go, ooh, ooh, it's like a slot machine. I dropped the eye in there, and look, here it is right in the mouth. Hooray! Hooray! All right. Uh, how do I build it? So I'm going to glue it in now on this side, and then I'm going to use a sheet of contact cement. Well, I'm going to use a sheet of fabric, and I'll contact cement that over the back of the eye to hold it in place. And of course, all this will hold it in place on the front. still need okay first thing you do is you clean your station I'm moving from one activity to another I should not I don't need all the hair stuff out now the hair is done so all the hair can get put away <laughs> April said squirrel yeah I know <laughs> the magic I of Halloween I live on the end of a big Victorian house where the servants used to live, and it's an old coach house. The main building was a hospital at one time. I'm sure it's haunted. I'll put photos on the creepers. Woo, Bradley K. Yay. Lost Zodiac. I love how you got sidetracked with the story. I guess other people's awesome ideas. It gives other people awesome ideas for the year. I'll probably tell one of my close friends about that now. That love Halloween about it. Thank you, Lost Zodiac. I, I thought it was a real pleasure. I didn't have to do every day, but. This year, I think we're going to have to do every day. Yeah. I think people are going to need more Halloween spirit than usual. The spirit of Halloween. All right, wife. I was going to put it. Your face is the Your one Your face did it. did it. Yeah, it's, it's lovely. Or a soda machine. Delicious, delicious soda. Haunting than we like, the pumpkin project will be legendary level. I agree. I'm 
but but it's just it's if I were a kid, a oh heck, I'm just a grown up. Who cares what age you are? I was driving down a road and there's a lit pumpkin left somewhere. I would just be all goosebumps. That's that's beautiful. Ezekiel, quick question: How big is the eye you are putting? Um, eye sized. Uh, hang on. I'll even give it to you in millimeters for you uh, non-imperial system folks. It's a 30 millimeter eye. 30 millimeters. 30 millimeter eye. Power washer, stick it in there. You're being too gentle with your power washing. He says power washer isn't working. Yeah, he's being too gentle. Knock that off. Gregory Haynes, flying out to Puerto Rico tomorrow for the week. You guys have a good week. I'll catch the werewolf feet only later. Yes. He just says, I'm used to inches and feet, so it's good. Okay, you play. Where do you buy your eyes? Uh, normally, I buy them from Van Dyke's Taxidermy. You know what? I don't like how that's sitting. Take the Lorraine YouTube made me watch a Joe Biden ad before I can start the video. Well, that's that's fine. <laughs> Tina Kuziak, thank you, Shannon, for telling us about the Great Pumpkin Project. It just gave me something to do for Halloween safely. I'm very excited. You are very welcome. Uh, scout out some spooky places. And, uh, I mean, you look at this guy's Instagram, you can see, uh, and, and hit the hashtag. Uh, the hashtag shows what people are doing all over the country. So there's lots of people who do this, and it's just a lovely way to, to do Halloween. So, Tina, make sure that you type in the hashtag so you can follow that. And come October, you just get to see where people are finding these beautiful places and these beautiful pictures. Uh, but it's a lot of fun. I had a good time doing that. I don't know what's scarier, an overbite. Rob O'Brien, so with Monster Camp, what were your what will your, what will your live schedule be? Um well, I probably won't. I'll I'll go I'll do a couple short lives Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, or, or all three, uh, kind of showing what people are working on. And then um, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, showing what people are working on, and but I won't have any like long lives like this. Uh, but you know, normal um, off Thursday because off Thursday. Um, now you might get a live video out of me tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I mentioned it. I also might have mentioned that a spot opened up by surprise, and if someone had time and they could just come out and do it this weekend, let us know. I noticed a hammerhead blank sitting at the forefront of your table a few days ago. Do you plan on painting one soon? Yes. You know what? Shark Week is actually coming up, and what I was going to do was I was going to. Uh, pour up a, a great white or two, a, a megalodamed or two, pour up a couple of those, and then pour up um, maybe another hammerhead and have a shark week where I'm uh, finishing these shark masks. Is that the third eye? Yes. Yes, it is. This is the third eye portion of the three-eyed goat. 
Is my camera view correct? Yes. Okay, so what I have here is I have a piece of five millimeter EVA foam. Okay. I'm gonna hit it with contact cement also. Set that down to dry, and that's drying. I would put it on right now, but uh, it's going to stick to my forehead. So that's a bad idea. Yes, because an actor is going to wear this, and there's going to be two human eyes right here. So, if I want this to have any hope of matching up, I want it to be a human eye. Sato K says they need to go weak. Yeah. And you know what? Another goat, and there's a couple more goat masks that I want to do, like versions. Al Monty says, Shark Week. Yes, please. Maybe do a wear shark. Well, I, I have the, yeah, I mean, that's kind of what my shark mask is. Uh, like the megalodon, megalodon. Okay. On a person, like, that's pretty wear sharky. Could leave a bone or two hanging out of the goat's mouth, young dinner, human bones, that is. That would look great with my oldest son's eyes. He has one blue and one green. Awesome. Well, this is hazel. And uh, if you look at the color of it, you're out of the box. That scene in Shrek where Donkey makes the eyeballs come out of his nose. Random thoughts. have some hydrocal left and I may have enough to do a half mask. I started molding and found out I don't. Is there anything I could use to finish the mold? Okay, so but how much would you have? Like how would you have get everything covered? Like that's number one. What I have been doing a lot lately is I have been actually um I will I'll do the mold, I'll do two layers and then I cover the whole thing in Loctite foam so that I level off now with Loctite foam. I make it flat so that I don't have to add a lot of weight for plaster. Since I plan on switching to Ultra Cal when I run out. So start with Hydra Cal and then end switch to Ultra Cal. Uh, how about an octopus or a squid mask? I've done a squid mask. I've done a squid mask. Yeah, 
Is it a squid, just a baby octopus? No. I love to pick the kids up in this mask. Imagine all the caramels, mums in their active wear. <laughs> in their active wear. All right, so I have this piece. And you know what? I think I'm going to heat it up because uh, I just like to use hot glue with heat gun. And that way it'll conform in there a little bit more. I know. I'm just playing around. But this is my very next to last step. The horns count as bones. No, horns are not bones. Uh, horns are not made of the same material as bones. Horns are made of the same stuff of hair. Keratin. All right, that is probably good and soft now. Yes, it is. I walk five times as far because of dogs. Good night, Jerry Collins. Hello, DJ Styles. Zico says it's a perfect mask for driving a school bus. Yeah. Masada, I wonder if dreads would eventually turn into horns. No. I believe horns are keratin. Yes, horns are keratin. What's up, Plastic Ninja? Threads got dirty enough, you might think they were horns. This looks great. DJ Styles says, I'm going to join you guys on Monday through Wednesday because of my summer works. And I'll add a pad into the back because I actually want your eyes to be a little closer and they're a little further mm -hmm. back for my liking right now. Have you ever made a moose mask? I've, no. No, I've never seen a moose mask. Like, not only have I never made one, I've never seen the mask bones. How do you make it like look like there aren't just two holes where your actual eyes go? Well, that's what I was just saying, is that I have to pat it, because right now my head's a little further back. I need to pat it so that my head is further forward in the mask, and that's just gluing a pad into the back. Will you wear eye glass underneath? Oh, well, whoever buys it will. Very well done. Uh, good night, dead end. DJ Style says Texas Longhorns. Wild looking moose jaws. Amazing once again, sir. Thumbs up. Thanks. Uh, I need to hit this with gloss on the teeth and um, around the eyes up here, and then this guy's done. I'm going to actually set the hair with a little bit of the uh, Plasti Dip Glossifier. Love it, looking very good. How much for a mask like this one? 200 bucks. You know, I actually, 
Now that I've added an acrylic eye, it should be 225, but 200 bucks. Very cool, definitely. It is a little safe me. Okay, now that's going to dry, and that's going to just help this uh, stay styled the way that I want it to stay. Let's move it over to the airbrush. Let's all go to the airbrush. Let's all go to the airbrush. It's for sale, so no one has bought this yet. Uh, I do want to sell it, but no one has bought it. I think that mask is worth at least three hundred. Well, think I may have to come up with an idea for a haunt this year to work around COVID and abide by the regulations. It goes to Rodney. Ezekiel says, Rodney, you need to go. To <laughs> uh, no one needs to be forced into anything. That's for sure. Uh, DJ Styles says the plastic dip he used was spray mat. I never recommend spray mat. Um, I, the only plastic dip product I recommend is the loss of fire, and that is to add gloss to things. Uh, it's not a paint, it's not a layerable paint. Yeah, the only plastic product I recommend for masks is uh, Glossifier. The other stuff is uh, formulation is different, and what you're using it for is different than it's intended. Uh, Psycho and I have talked back and forth on some video comments. I think he's just busy. Two hundred. to get my story straight. My friends are in the bathroom getting high on in my face. She's been waiting for me to pop the bar. She's been taken back from sunglasses and acting about a star. And I don't know why I gave this to her months ago. I know your friend is the game. It's nothing. The holes in my apology. Closing. I think I've had enough. 
Uh, yes, both will work. How many different masks would you bring? I love your work, by the way. Um, I would probably bring... If I wouldn't want to do a booth with less than like 10 or 15 masks, uh, different styles of masks. What is a great paint protection to use on latex masks? Armor all. Have you tried to do eyelashes? Yes, I've done eyelashes. I buy fake eyelashes and I glue them on. Imagine if the man started talking when the guy walked away. Uh, I'd walk away. I'd be well, right out. I'd love to know this, but it's many others I need first. Like a werewolf, a grave digger, and so many places. Ronnie, you don't have a grave digger? Thank you, April. Glad you enjoyed it. And this is just a little bit of black. So I can get all of this hair to be the same type of black. Have you ever been to Mother Creek? To where? Bugaboo Creek. I've never heard of Bugaboo Creek. sealant and a protectant. Other goats, yes. But this, oh, sorry. this goat, I want to be the black goat of blackness. Luggery Creek was a themed restaurant chain with an animatronic taxidermy. Cool. What state was that in? Sounds like a showbiz pizza or a uh, rainforest cafe type place. To protect, you can also use like a high gloss varnish. Uh, that works fine too. Um, and I'm actually going to hit this. I say he's done, but I'm going to do one more thing. 
One more thing. Uh, I'm going to hit him with a matte varnish because, well, I just think it's a good idea on on the fur. I don't want that. I see some gloss under the skin, and I think the matte varnish will grab that and knock it down. And I had a container full of matte varnish that was labeled matte varnish that, of course, I kind of hung. Do you think it will be possible to come for a visit in November, DJ Styles? Um, are you going to be in the area, DJ? Will you be at Transworld in March? Yes, of course. I'll be at Transworld in March. But the streets are all closed. I will be at Transworld in March. What about a goat skull mask? Um, well, how different, though, is a goat skull from a deer skull? <laughs> the goat needs braces. <laughs> yes. Rainforest Cafe, my poor, my poor son walked past a chimp when the animatronic show started. Talk about soil shorts. <laughs> that's awesome. That's awesome. I'm sorry, Ezekiel, but that's funny. That's my wife. That's a lady. That's my wife. <laughs> Boy, this uh, this my sealer has done a great job of clogging its straw. I try to catch them all. I miss them uh, once in a while, so forgive me, but I am trying. To. Yeah. Um, <laughs> lots of YouTube channels aren't as interactive, so. I do try to maintain a high level of interactivity with so comments. Says, oh, I laughed. The fifty-two dollars in the gift shop wasn't funny. <laughs> Evelyn says, "Sorry, I mostly just hopped in, missed all the introductions." That's all right. Glad you're here. DJ Styles, yes, I was planning to visit my cousin in Texas, and I don't think she is far from here. Just give me a heads up when you're in town. Yeah, give me a heads up when you're in town. We'll try and work it out. Any hints about the list for Wednesday bingo? Uh, the, the hints are it's probably stuff you've seen before. I really have to spend a lot of time this week getting ready for Monster Camp. So I also, I'll pro I might even simplify the list to make it so that uh, everything on it I think I can get done in, in one evening. Uh, Ezekiel, we've had we've had snow on Christmas. It was not a huge amount of snow. It did not stay long, and uh, but we have had it before. It was not a big, you know, New England style giant snow. But we have had snow on Christmas before. Uh, for a YouTube Wednesday, it would be great if you covered why you switch certain materials or products, like great stuff versus lock type. Sorry, I thought you might have missed it. You know what? I've actually never used great stuff. Uh, I don't think I have a video where I've used great stuff foam, aside from a video where I talk about great stuff foam and tell folks kind of not to use it. Um, I, that's not a switch. That is a... Um, just an... You know, I, I like the Loctite. I've never been a huge fan of great stuff. It looks a lot like spray foam, no matter what you do. This is a matte sealer, so of course it's going on wet. That's going to look shiny while it's wet, but then it's going to mat out. Will you work on the diving helmet for Shark Week? Uh, that's a great idea. I will probably will. I'll do a diving helmet one night. I'll do a Shark. I hadn't planned on it, but now that you mention it, it's a great idea. The Loctite has a better finish than great stuff? Oh yeah, big time. They're just different foams. They're way different foams. Okay, two people are watching. Uh, for two hours, it is this is the last thing I'm going to do. And I'm going to heat gun this guy just so he dries up. 
but I kind of want to show him finish finished and then get some pictures and then be done. That knocked down a lot of the shine in there, which is the adhesive that you hold on the blocking with. Then, oh. Do you ever do theater work or just once? Um, I, I've helped with some theater things, not in a while, but uh, every now and then, yes. Is long time work expensive? Uh, it's a little more expensive, yes. I say it's well worth it, though, considering what it does and how much better it is than great stuff. Would you know the latest date they will send latex in the mail to Jersey? Um, honestly, probably November. Probably November. See how the eye got a little foggy? Doing it now. Nice. He's asking about how late will the supply ship to Jersey? Um, like late in the day or? Late in the year. Yeah, probably November. Uh, I have already explained it, but I made them out of EVA foam. I did the EVA foam shaping. I contact cemented them on. And then I um, EVA foamed them. And then this is liquid nails. Like the coating is liquid nails. That makes them stiff. And then I run a rake through that. And that makes it look horny. All right. Look at that. Three eyed demon goat. Yo. After purchasing all the different supplies it takes to finish out my mask, I definitely think your prices are way too low, I'm just saying. Uh, yes, um, yeah. But remember, I also buy in bulk, so I get my stuff a little cheaper. I'm going to buy more than you. That's really awesome. Imagine if the eye would be quite touching. Looks great. You done? Uh, he is done. We have a finished demon goat, uh, which We'll just throw him up on the website, honey, for 200 bucks. Sure. Um, and uh, I'll help you take pictures of him tomorrow. So we got him finished. Look at him up there. It's beautiful. Awesome job. Looks great. There we go. He looks great. So, yeah, I'm kind of happy with it. So, okay, gang. Thing of nightmares. Scary. All hell Capra Scorn. The greatest mask I've ever seen. Yes, that is like the first Capra Scorn. So cool. It looks great, Alan. It looks so awesome. It looks great. Thank you, Capra Scorn. Wife, say goodnight. Good night. Everybody, thank you for watching and for hanging out. Um, hope you had a great day. Have a great day tomorrow. Tomorrow is what day? Tuesday. I, I shoot YouTube Wednesday tomorrow, so I won't be live tomorrow night. I might be. Who knows? Um, but it's on the schedule. And then uh, I'll be live Wednesday, and I'll probably be off Thursday. So, and then Friday, Saturday, and Sunday are good intermittent lives because uh, we have Monster Camp this weekend, and we'll give updates for that. Um, we never had Stilt Beast Live Creepers before, so we'll probably do some more updates on that than usual. Um, thank you guys so much for hanging out. It means a lot to hang with you guys and uh, that you would spend your time with us. Um, 
and that means that you think that what we're doing is worthwhile and that's really cool hope you guys have a great rest of your evening and have a great tomorrow talk at you later go make stuff